Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to do VLOOKUP in rightmost column of a table. As you see here in the example, I have the information of employee name here. And in the second table, the employee name and joining date is displayed based on the ID. And here the VLOOKUP function is used. And if you see in the source data, the employee ID is in the right column. But if you see in the VLOOKUP function description, the VLOOKUP function looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. This is a necessary condition for VLOOKUP where the lookup value must be in leftmost column. And here, in case of the lookup value is in the right column or not in the leftmost column, then we can combine the choose function with VLOOKUP to do this. As you see here, the choose function is combined with VLOOKUP. So now let me delete these two already used function from here. Then you start using the VLOOKUP here in this cell. So press is equal to then type VLOOKUP bracket open. In the lookup value, click on the employee ID here in this cell. Then lock this cell by pressing F4 key in the keyboard. Then give a comma. Now here in the table array, we have to use the choose function. By using this choose function, we will put the employee ID at the beginning, then other column after that. So for that, here type choose, then type the opening bracket, then type here a curly bracket, then type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is because we have total 7 columns here in this source data. Then close the curly bracket, then give a comma. Now here in the value 1, value 2, value 3 of the choose function, we have to rearrange the column. In the value 1, select this employee ID column. Then lock this column by pressing the F4 key. Then give a comma. Then here in the value 2 parameter, select the employee name column, lock this by pressing F4 key give a comma in the value 3 select this permanent address column lock it give a comma select the email id column lock it comma select organization joining date column lock comma select age column lock it comma then select and lock the gender column then close a bracket here for choose function now this choose function will restructure this table by putting this employee ID at the beginning then the remaining column after that. Now give a comma. Here in the column index number for the name we have to put 2 because in this rearranged table the employee name is in the second column. The employee ID is the first one then the employee name is the second one. So here type 2 in this column index number then give a comma in the range lookup select this exact match by double clicking then close the bracket press enter now you see the name for this employee id is displayed here now copy the same formula paste it here in the joining date then for joining date we have to change the column index number that will be one two three four five fifth column so here double click then change this two to five then press enter now here you see it is given in the number formatting change this to date formatting by going to home tab then select the date formatting from here now you see the joining date is displayed now if you change here the id for example e311 then you see the values gets auto changed for the employee id 311 the name is emma and the joining date is 13th of july 2009 which is captured from here. So this is how we can use VLOOKUP function when the lookup value is in the right column of a table. And this much for today's video. If you want to practice this VLOOKUP plus choose function, you can download this workbook file from the video description below. Thank you very much for watching. We will again meet on next video tutorial.